Hey, before I went to play on solo cell phone, I was kind of afraid to go play solo cell phone because I was afraid that I will not be able to craft the gear that I want. And I was really unsure on how to act, how people actually craft their own gear on solo cell phone. So today I'm actually going to go over all of my gear, how I crafted all of my gear for my solo cell phone character and as you can see in the background the character winded up very well uh, as I was able to do all the game content on solo cell phone scenario and it was very efficient and uh, I really am proud of my gear in a sense this is the character level 99 this is my character's gear you can pause the video and check out uh, each piece and I will link uh, into the below to the section of each gear piece this is my skill tree and you'll be able to also find the paste bin in the comments uh, or in the description i mean below to demonstrate how we did the crafting i will use this craft of exile website it has a great emulator section where you can uh, cr make some kind of item base and then see what happens if you did certain types of crafting for example i just uh, Ultra Mead, an item, what happens if I Chaos spam it, what would happen if I would Veil, right, what happens if I uh, corrupt it, what's the chance, you can just play around and have a great simulator here. I'll start with the easiest crafts and then, then I'll get, uh, at the end I'll get some more complicated ones, or more heavier ones. We will also use the Craft of Exiles calculator section, because in this section, it's uh, very nice that you can see what are the probabilities of uh, getting certain crafts and you can even uh, pick, for example, if I use Corroded Fossil, what's the chance that I will get tier 1 rarity, right? And it shows you an average, you, it will cost you 16 primitive resonators with Corroded Fossils in order to get this craft and, you know, cost as well, which is maybe kind of cool. So let's start with the Seajax. It's a Warlord base, first of all just dropped it somewhere or moved it around with the crafts and I used this Warlord Seas axe, axe together with Corroded Fossil with just a regular Primitive Resonator and just spam that. Uh, so I have selected here what I need to select. So this is what I have on the axe. It's a tier 3 um, bleeding and then I have actually tier 1 physical damage over time. And if I look at the stats, it's actually 1 in 20 chance that you'll get it. Corroded fossils are quite rare, but it's doable, and you can get something close to tier 1 fairly easily. You know, I, I was hoping to get actually something better, but didn't succeed. And basically it looks like this, you just take this fossil, corroded, you know, in game you put it together and just spam, right? Increase physical damage, you see tier 2, tier, yeah, I have something, like just a couple of tries and I have tier 2 and tier 3. It's which is very similar in damage as well, so... Just spam this and found found what I have and just crafted the suffix and that's it. Uh, that's about that. That's axe. And if I would not have a suffix, I would do beast crafts from suffix to prefix, or I've just annul it. I tried to annul that. Uh, moving on to the helmet, I was pretty lucky to find this helmet which had already fractured 38% lightning resistance. It's not the best. It's tier three, but in solo cell phone. It was really, really good. And uh, when I was crafting this, I really needed like chaos resistance. So that was one of my main focuses to get it. So right now I'm back into Craft of Exile. This is my helmet, but how I crafted it is I crafted it with essences. I actually started with essences of greed, which would give me life. And I was trying to get some good resistance, just like this. And then I was like, ah, I don't have any more of uh, life. Um, essences so i'll use this one and i use tier 2 essence this is tier 1 but i'm to tier 2 because it's not that big of a difference i was okay with having tier 2 uh and of course i sacrificed the crafts but that's that's fine and i just spammed and it looks some looks like something similar what i have right now but i was just uh what i had there was the tier 1 mix of armor and life you know and if it's a mix like that i can craft life life and it's a hundred life helmet with uh, good resistance as including chaos which was i was looking for so that was pretty cool and i got the helmet spectra shield throw fires fire additional 
sharp projectiles. I just got it in lab. I just run lab. I got something on my last boots. I haven't actually did it on these boots, but on the last boots, I got something as well. And I'm just oh, quite lucky to get also the labyrinth prefix. So let's talk about how I got to the shield. So first of all, I used every defense craft that's available. And these are my two shields that I was using or I had used before previously. Right, so 270 armor, pretty good. And I got those armors using just like dense fossils, right? Which give more defense modifiers and no life modifiers, right? So I just spammed all of those. Every one I could get, I spammed those on shields. The next one was harvest crafting, where I was reroll reforger item with modifiers, including defense or more likely as well. And I just spammed those in hopes of get, getting something good. And that's how I crafted those shields. And while I was doing all of this spamming, I also was using essences. But for essences, I always upgraded my essences to the highest tier, right? So here, um, with tier 1 to the highest, uh, tier 2 essences, you get maximum 400 shield, but with tier 1 essence, you get 440 maximum shield, of, I mean maximum armor on the shield, which is higher than you can possibly get when you're doing regular crafting. Because if I take a look at this in the point of building, then the maximum... I'm not point of building, but craft effects are uh, the maximum armor is 400 by default, right? So it was very, very lucky uh, roll when I was hitting my dread essences, but which I especially tried to uh, craft at the highest tier. I always tried to upgrade them, right? And I was doing this until I actually hit. Oh, actually, this one. I had something like this without the global defenses i have prepared a place it was something like this so i had two good prefixes i had increased armor tier one and tier one two armor right if i look at the stats i've selected it here it's one in 36 are approximately chance to get that so that's actually quite likely right when i got this craft what i did is i used benchcraft with prefixes cannot be changed right and the reason I did this is bec uh, because if I use harvest defense craft, which I'll show you in a second, there is no suffix that is defense. There is no defense suffix that have defense attributes or like label, right? So I put it in my stash, looked for a harvest craft and I used reroll reforge your item with modifier, new modifier, including defense modifier, right? I used that and got something, or got my third armor modifier, which was also quite lucky because I got tier two defense modifier, which gives 38 maximum increased armor, which was a really, really good craft, right? You see, you see for example, chance to block gives only 30, right? So that was a lucky craft. So that's that's how I got my prefixes, and this is not the end of the story. After that, I realized I may I might need some more chaos resistance or uh, or something good on the shield because I had something like a uh, chance to block or some kind on of, some kind of other garbage that was completely useless. And uh, when I got my other gear fixed and I had some free currency, it's like okay, I'm, I'm gonna finish this and uh, invest some little bit more time in this. Or currency so I did prefix that's gonna be changed again at this time I used a veiled orb right veiled orb from Ashling uh, so it's this one right just use that I got one slot unveiled it and instead of getting this I got what I have right now which is cold and chaos resistance right so I was like, okay, I need chaos. I needed cold at that, at that time as well. So I, yeah, I'll take that. And the final lightning resistance, what I have right right there, 
I just basically exalt slam this item with using uh, Leo in the syndicate, right? As you can see, he's connected to every single one of the people. <laughs> I was farming him and I was just slamming all of my gear from free slots. I'll have some other gear that I'll show you what I slammed as well. Uh, There's no better way. So I was like, oh yeah, I'll just slam everything. I'll also, my cluster jewels are slammed. I was like going on a slamming spree with Leo. Right, so it was, uh, it's, it's quite easy to get actually. You set it up a little bit and it's quite easy to get a lot of slam. Uh, so next one, let's talk about the Ver Vermilon ring. So first of all, for this ring, it's not great, and and one thing about this ring is that I need the intelligence. The thirty-three intelligence. That's I, I need that. Like I need the intelligence. It's it's needed. And what I did for this bad boy is like first of all, I got the white item, used uh, catalysts on it. Make sure you do do that before crafting, and then after I did that. I basically used every single harvest craft I could get. I, I was like, I get reroll cold, let you that reroll life, reroll fire, reroll lightning, reroll no, physical. Use something else, but every ailment and I've just reroll. I have so many rerolls on this. This was it was in my stash all the time. I was just reloading, rerolling, rerolling infinitely. This is like I have rerolled this item like plenty of times. And at some point, I wanted to get something a little bit different or more intelligence, and I used up all of my uh, essences, intelligence essences. So I was, I was using that as well on, on similar rings to get something like that. So that's how I crafted this uh, belt just a lot of spam because uh, rings are hard to craft because there's a lot of useless modifiers or kind of crappy ones or irrelevant ones. So you need a lot of spam to get those. So just start spamming your jewelry, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Belt. So first of all, um, I didn't have enough catalysts, but you know, when you have it white, use the catalysts. So that's where I got the 10 quality there. All right, and then I have tier two and tier one uh, life modifiers. And I just got those with spamming as well. So first thing you can spam is harvest crafts. Uh, before that, I need alchemy. This good. So with harvest crafts, I used only the ones that are reforge rare item with life modifier and life modifiers are more common. I only use that one on the belt. Um, I use the just regular life modifier on my ring, right? So. I spam that until I got two maximum life and increased maximum life. You know, this is how it basically looked like. I've just like hundreds of times probably do this. Maybe yeah, something like this. So I got something like this, which and I had the also the lightning and cold at cer some certain level. And after that, I actually got this belt using this craft, reforge a rare item, being much more likely to receive the same modifier types. And I got somehow very lucky and I got tier 2 and tier 1 life. And the resistance is uh, weird there as well, and that's where I got it actually. Oh, just a lot of spam with life modifiers and using this reforge rare item. Right. Crusader Blade. Uh, this item is actually quite insane. Uh, and this, this item has no influence. The reason the item doesn't have no influence is because they're not good influences. I, I couldn't find any influence that I was like, oh yeah, this is worth having, right? Uh, what I went instead is I went with Gutalitz's life modifier. And you can find the first modifier on the list which has life and percentage life. You can get this modifier from Temple, Temple of Azerath. Right? She, when you can set up a temple that gives healing, I don't have it right now. Heals monsters in the temple. It has a chance to drop these kind of items that have uh, these insane modifiers. And I actually got a this base, 
uh, it was look something like this, right? It had already the tier 2 mixed life. It had the incursion Gutalitsis life modifiers and I had two useless suffixes, right? So this is this is the base I started. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, it took me around 3000 fusings to get this. I was playing with uh, Lion Eyes Vision, which is pretty cool. But I, want, I really wanted to switch because the life is really insane on that one. I was using for so long, I was so frustrated. But you know, I eventually got six link deck, and I was like, okay, six link, let's, it's time to craft this bad boy. And this was quite expensive actually, uh, because in order to craft this, first of all, I, I wanted to have a pre freeze prefix for this item so I can craft this life and mana mixture which gives which makes it actually really insane it's 18 percent life and 100 and what 50 life something yeah, 150 life uh chest so what i had to do in order to not mess up the prefix so just i wanted to have if wanted to play it safe so I have safe prefix for this what i had to do is i had to use bench suffix Prefix is gonna be changed. I had to scour this item. See, now item is scoured. Then I used a bench suffix. Can have up to three crafted modifiers. Then I had to use suffix prefixes kind of to be changed. And I needed then a just a random prefix. Um, whatever. So that it blocks the prefix right so this this was the uh this was the setup here and at that time i needed chaos resistance i thought it's that's because i had kind of everything covered and I, I wanted to make sure that i have good chaos resistance on my character uh right now it's what um 53 it's a little bit too much but I didn't know that I will have so much at that point. So this is the setup I actually had to go through. And after that, I was like, oh, yeah, I want to have uh, Chaos. And I found the Harvest Craft, which had reroll item use with having a Chaos modifier. Right? And the only Chaos modifier on uh, on the body armor suff uh, suffixes is Chaos Resistance. So I slammed that and I got... Chaos, res chaos resistance. And I got very lucky with actually having a tier one. I was like, holy shit, that's so good, a tier one. Woo, let's go. Um, one issue with this craft is, it, as you see here, when I'm doing this, is that you're very likely to get just one modifier, right? So you see just one chaos, one chaos, one chaos again, one chaos, because uh, the item has already three modifiers and the highest chance that you when you use a chaos orb the highest chance is that you get four modifiers then less likely you're gonna get five and even less likely you're gonna get six so i got the most likely result where, where i got one chaos as not this one but uh this one right something like this and after that, uh, I couldn't really do anything about or just change anything. So I again went back to Leo. So that's why I did, did the Leo farming spree. Hello. And I farmed Leo crafts, got him rank three, raided safe house. He gave me exalt or a chance to slam, and I slammed these two modifiers. I mean, the fire is really great. Call is pretty cool as well, and I was like, yeah, well, that's great, now I have too much resistance. <laughs> that's why I actually started to craft my boots, because I had too much resistance, I was like, I can sacrifice, maybe try to get uh, bleeding damage as well. The boots are my latest addition to the build, and the reason why I actually started to craft these boots is because I've got very lucky with my shield resistances, with my chest resistances, and I realized, yo, I have some space. I can just play around and try to get bleed instead of having needing to have resistances. This is my previous boots. And believe it or not, I found these. I think I annulled the prefix so I can craft cannot be frozen because I really needed it. But this is something I found. 
and I have a couple of other boots that I found. So boots are a pretty good thing you can look for. Uh, getting back to these. First of all, I used two-tone boots because I really, really needed some resistance at least. If I got very unlucky and I got everything I need but except resistances, I really needed that 24. So I was like, oh, I need to use two-tone boots somewhere. I got my two-tone boots from a Gwen and I got very lucky to have them be 86 because on boots on 86 I was able to I could be able to craft 86 increased movement speed so okay let's get started so I had these boots so first thing I did those are not the influence first thing I did I used all of my zeal essences in order to maybe I get I'll get something like this right movement speed good life yeah this is all something I would uh, I would use and the chance of me hitting what I just hit now is 1 in 14 right so it's not that bad right 1 in 14 and uh, so what I did now I would need to annul this so I have this so I have I would have something like this so I was like okay I have movement speed I have life um, and then then I was like okay I have this uh, hunters or let's turn these boots into hunters maybe I will use them later if I don't get lucky or maybe I got lucky the chance of hitting a modifier that I needed was one in five or if I needed if I was okay with tier two then the chance was a little bit bigger so I slammed that something like this happened I was like oh fuck does didn't work out as expected okay that's fine and now comes a very tricky part uh, let's assume I got it was something like this right I think I know it as well or something and uh, this is the item I have hunters I have two good prefixes I actually had tier one life which was something like this and I was like okay maybe I have prefixes maybe I should work with this somehow right uh, if you remember how I did it with chest right if I wanted to have a free prefix I needed to block it and that craft cost me four exalts and I was like I don't have four exalts to slam this five times so right? it's like I need 20 exalts to make sure I got lucky right? because there's one in five chance I'll hit the one I need and if it's one in five on average I need four five times and it's just 20 together right I don't have so much currency what do I do so I went with the risky play where I benchcrafted just prefixes cannot be changed and I used harvest crafts either physical modifiers are more common reroll more common because there are two different if I look at hunter modifiers you can see that um, bleeding you flicking deals damage faster and there's also chance to avoid bleeding both of these are physical modifiers and both of these are attack modifiers right so they have attack tag that means if i use more common uh, where was i here if i use the craft that gives more common i have a chance i'll get both of them which is such high such a higher chance that i'll get something good so i did that i crafted this um Oh, I have to slam this one as well. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to slam this one. I hadn't slammed this one. So didn't, this one didn't get lucky as well. Uh, I know that's fine. Now, I know the ammo, that off prefix are going to be changed and we're back to the point. And harvest craft, physical modifiers and perfect. So this is the first, this is actually what I got. When I was crafting, I got something very, very similar. I had tier 2 bleeding and I had tier something whatever this other craft and at this point I actually used maven's orb it was like ah, maybe, I don't yolo let's just maven orb this and this is not the outcome I got I maven orb this and I got this I was like ah oh, god damn it I messed up uh, then I did this again two more exalts and I did more common as well 
either attack or physical, both of them work. And I got something like this, which was my end result. M maybe I used it another time, I think it was like three times, but I got this and I was like, okay, it has great lighting resistance. Uh, it has at least tier two, free prefix, I'm good, right? Uh, there was also, I was, and I'm also afraid of the worst case scenario, which and if I go back and if I do this again, I do this again, I do this again, somehow this is not happening, which is very unlikely. It should have happened already, but for some reason, and finally we're here. Alright, so this is a scenario where I'm screwed. I have a prefix. Uh, I even got something that I need. I have prefix and now I cannot do this craft again. So I was really afraid of this happening. For, because now I have to basically un annul this and just hope. Uh, you know, and I lose the item. I have to go back and try to get tier 1 life and uh, movement speed again and then do some just do some random crafts uh, i didn't want to do that and so i kept this item that i have the glows the glows were quite lucky to be honest um i did the regular thing that you do where you make because this is double influenced item hunter and warlord so i had these glows actually hunter base i just dropped them super lucky i was like yeah i have to craft this let's awaken this so I crafted the Culling Strike on the other boots, other gloves. I used Awakener's Orb to combine this. And I got something like this. The gloves were something like this, right? Uh, so, my plan... Or, or it, I don't remember if I got the Fire Resistance, but my plan was, if I get this, I just use Beastcraft and use from prefix to suffix, and I get some kind of random suffix. So that was plan A. Plan B was uh, I awaken and there's some kind of suffix already. It will look something like this. Then, okay, fine. I have suffixes. Can't do anything about it. Uh, but I just realized looking at playing around these crafts myself is that in this scenario I could also do this. So I could benchcraft prefix which is suffixes cannot be changed right so suffixes these two cannot be changed and then i could guarantee with harvest a chaos resistance right so it's better than having some kind of life regenerate life or something right so i could always guarantee chaos resistance i didn't realize until now because i thought Chaos damage over time multiply could roll because you know it's chaos, but it cannot roll because this is blocking it. Right, so it's like a common modifier, which I didn't know actually. I would have chaos resistance on that those if I knew, or maybe I just don't remember. I awakened and there was this fire resistance. Either way, I'm lucky to have this fire resistance 100%. After that, it was like okay. Um, I got my so let's let's assume I did the harvest craft again prefix a suffix I have something like this right it's pretty good uh, so this is my, this was my item then I was like okay now I need life so for that I did suffixes cannot be changed again find harvest craft life and life modifies more common as well and I just rerolled and I was like hoping for the best and I got really real lucky again i got life and life and i have three prefixes about i was like so happy that was like really exciting to get this item i see so if i look at this the chance was like one in ten i think i was like what's the chance if i what's the chance to get like tier one or two or two alive it was like one in ten or something like that so it was quite expensive and was hard to get as you can see i'm not getting lucky here at all but i rolled item i think it was like a first or second try and i got that that was really really happy really, really cool so that's how i got my gloves and finally the ring this is actually where i lost my shit like when i crafted this ring i lost completely lost my shit i was like i just jumped out of the chair and just 
run around the room because it was so lucky, right? But you know, it was not all luck because first of all, before I got this item, actually it required a lot of steps. So first I got my uh, Warlord's base, two-tone rings, I uh, used Catalyst to have a resistance and so on. And the first thing I did, I just went to harvest and used all of my caster crafts and just spammed at it. I just spammed it until I found some kind of um, good vulnerability ring. And I was hoping to actually craft it like this at first, but I got I got this ring very very late, like very late, and I was like I, I really needed that because I was using some kind of gloves which had also corrupted prefix. Uh, so th this is something I got actually. It's not the same actually. Yeah, this is something I got, and this is what I worked with. So first of all, I uh, just harvest crafted caster, you know, uh, because as you can see. The vulnerability is caster uh, tag, and so you can get that. And like here, I also got lucky where I had another suffix, which was good resistance, and I had a free suffix, and I had a free prefix. Or if I didn't have a free prefix, I'll probably annul it to have it, right? So this is where I started with the ring. Now, at this point, what I did is again, I used benchcraft suffixes cannot be changed right at this and then i just did chaos harvest chaos and i got the chaos resistance that i have on this ring right now right so it was tier three pretty good i was quite happy that was really nice what was the crazy part about this where i lost my shit completely is that with this craft that i did just now like Reroll item with chaos metaphor is more common. This is where I got the tier one life as well. So I roll, I did this craft when I'm here, and I instantly got tier one life. It was something like this, but just tier one life. I was like, "What the hell, bro? That was completely insane." Uh, and that was kind of it. The item was done. I uh, after that, I also slammed it later to have this energy shield with Leo slam again, right? That's where I got the energy shield, but you know, there's nothing good actually, actually slam. Uh, but you know, I had planned everything out anyway, so my plan was actually was to get the chaos resistance, then do again, suffixes cannot be changed, and life. Right? So that, 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 was, that was actually my plan, to get some kind of good life modifier. As you, can, as you, as you saw, the other modif modifier that gets in a way is... Uh, Physical damage leech of life. Yeah, so I, I will do this Right until I get this as you can see there was like one in what like five or ten chance Don't remember precisely, but you know I was I was willing to put in the currency to get the life and to have this kind of item So that's how I ended up with my uh, ring uh, if you're curious about the cluster jewels the cluster jewels was just this one I used uh, Attack, or I uh, used physical modifiers are more common. Physical modifiers more common, and I just got this. Like it was like second craft. I was like, wow, that's great. I'm done. <laughs> second craft. Then for these, I did just alterations, alterated, transmuted, augmented, and if I got something good, I just regaled. Uh, that was it. The same thing for this one, just alterations, regals, and hoping to get the another good prefix. Uh, the same thing goes for these cluster jewels, also just alterations, try to get flexible sentry with something else good. This, this is completely trivial to get. Um, but you know, later on, I had worse versions of this with worse modifiers, where I didn't have chaos resistance or whatever, they were still usable. You know, so I put in a lot of alterations into crafting these. This duo, just picking up from the ground most. Yeah, mostly picking up from the ground because the light. It's it's very good to craft these with life crafts, like uh, harvest life crafts, because then you can get this life. It's quite common, but I I had to use life 
on other crafts like my Vermilion Ring. I used all my life crafts of this one to get this bad boy. And that is it. I hope this was useful. And you have a little insight how it is living in solo cell found and how it is crafting your own gear. I hope you learned something good as well. It was really hard for me to explain, honestly. I just, it took so much effort. I thought it's gonna be easy, but actually it's quite complex to explain all that, what I did and how everything works and stuff like that. And uh, alright, so bye bye. Hope you see some other time.